When loss of mental functions, such as thinking, memory, and reasoning are severe enough to interfere with a person's independent daily functioning, they can be described as having dementia. There are a plethora of causes for dementia, shown by the causes of D. Mann's dementia, and you can remember them by organizing them into the reversible and irreversible causes. The reversible causes of dementia include intoxication from alcohol or other substances, along with the toxic side effects from medications, shown as the intoxicating alcohol and med bottle, as well as depression, the depressed ema. Another cause is normal pressure hydrocephalus, the normal pressure hydra in head, along with vitamin B12 deficiency, portrayed as the Viking B12 dozen carton that's broken. Metabolic conditions, the metal ball, such as hypoglycemia and hypothyroidism, are other treatable causes of dementia. There are also more insidious processes, which cause nervous tissue damage, and these are irreversible causes of dementia. Lewy body disease leads to inclusion bodies within the brain, shown by the Lewy body. Prion diseases such as Creutzfeldt Jakob and Kuru are illustrated as the prawn folded protein and can lead to rapid dementia, which is untreatable. Additionally, PICS disease, the PIC, leads to frontotemporal degeneration and is another source of irreversible dementia. AIDS dementia complex, the Band-Aid, is a dementia which occurs at low CD4 counts. Alzheimer's disease, the Oldtimer, is a progressive dementia. And finally, multi-infarct dementia is also a progressive dementia and is shown as the multiple farts. So let's review the different causes of dementia. The reversible causes include intoxication or medications, depression, normal pressure hydrocephalus, vitamin B12 deficiency, and metabolic conditions. Irreversible causes include Lewy body disease, prion disease, PICS disease, AIDS dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and multi-infarct dementia.